This is the very famous blower Bentley, the Bentley 4.5 litre supercharged. This car was built in 1929, was one of five race cars built, probably the most valuable Bentley in the world, the number two Birkin blower. The car that was raced by Sir Henry Tim Birkin, as he was known, famous Bentley boy, an ex First World War fighter pilot. He got his adrenaline rush by driving Bentleys around circuits like the Brooklyn circuit. Tim Birkin raced against the 7-litre Mercedes compressor at Nürburgring and saw the threat that that car would be to Bentley. So he said to W.O. Bentley, the only thing we must do is to supercharge the 4.5-litre Bentley. Now, Mr. Bentley, the engineer, disagreed. He said it would corrupt the design of the engine, but Birkin went ahead with support from his fellow Bentley boy and Bentley chairman, Wolf Bonato, and developed this car, built 50 road cars to homologate it and five race cars to race it. The thing that gives this car its name is this. This is a supercharger stuck on the front of the car, which gives the name the Blower Bentley. And this increased the power output of this car from about 175 horsepower up to 240, and a top speed from just over 100 miles an hour to in excess of 125. So it gave it great performance, but also added a lot of pressure to the engine. Now, in the end, the Blower did not win a major race, so Bentley was right, but this didn't stop this becoming one of the most evocative racing cars of its era. Birkin was quite a flamboyant character and very recognisable on the track. He was known for wearing his white leather helmet, he'd have his polka dot scarf on, and the only protection against the elements he'd have would be a pair of goggles like this. And often, with the overflow of oil coming from the engine and the dirt on the track, you'd just see the white mark of his goggles around a black face when he came back off the circuit. Now, this is the car he raced at Le Mans in 1930, famously overtaking the compressor Mercedes down the Hionaudier Strait at 125 miles an hour with two wheels on the grass. So you can imagine the courage that was needed to drive a car like this at speeds that are beyond our comprehension even today, with no protection at all. I've driven this car at over 100 miles an hour on, a, on an airfield, and that's scary enough. This is the cockpit that Birkin would have been familiar with. And so we had the steering wheel, big steering wheel, because no power steering, so you needed a big wheel to make sure you could give it plenty of heft. You have two switches for magnetos that would give you the power to ignite the engine. A separate fuel pump here. And because it's a race car, if the electric fuel pump failed, you had the ability to pressurise the fuel tank by hand to give air pressure to force the fuel through. And this being a supercharged car, it's got the boost gauge here. Now this was quite advanced engineering because the blower on this car worked like a modern turbocharger. When you applied more throttle, you got more power. And the gear shift is over to the right side. So the gear lever here is underneath your right leg, four speed gearbox with no synchro mesh, so it's doubled the clutch every time. So you really need three hands and three feet to drive this car at some time. But when the boys were playing snooker in a billiard hall in Paris one time, they noticed the billiard counters and they felt this is a very good way to keep score of your laps. So you can just count the laps as you go to make sure you get the right number of laps before you come back into the pits. car that probably evokes more than any other car that wonderful glorious time of British motor racing in the 1920s and 30s and this is a car that raced with great success at that time at Le Mans. Never won a race but did a wonderful job for Britain. We'll be back with this car for the Festival of Speed this year charging up the hill once again evoking the spirits of Tim Birkin and the famous Bentley boys. You get rubber pouring off of the tyres, smoke pouring off the tyres out the exhaust. It's all part of it, it's all part of the passion. It's rated at 250 horsepower.